What's happened in the Baltic shows just how vulnerable Britain's own network of offshore pipes and cables could be to a hostile nation. North Sea drilling platforms are linked together by a network of pipelines, which then feed into larger arteries that come ashore in Shetland, Orkney and the mainland. Britain also imports gas from Norway through a pipeline laid up to 360 metres below the waves. It can carry a fifth of the UK's peak gas demand. And there are gas pipelines linking the UK with Belgium and the Netherlands too, each with a similar capacity. The dash for green electricity has resulted in vast wind farms taking root in the shallow waters around our coast. There are now more than 2,500 turbines generating 12.7 gigawatts of electricity. That's the equivalent of four nuclear power stations. And all that comes ashore in cables laid along the bottom of the North Sea. There are interconnectors too, marked here in yellow. Those are cables that link the electricity grid in the UK with France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Norway and Ireland. Together, they have a capacity of just under 7.5 gigawatts. Now, communications cables for phone calls and the internet, they're marked in grey. They also connect the UK with the rest of Europe as well as the United States and Canada, and they are critical for the economy. So how secure is our undersea infrastructure? Well, communication cables are just thicker than a garden hose, and although they have a steel sheath, even a shark can bite them in two. Undersea electricity cables are a little slimmer than your thigh and have several layers of metal and plastic armour, but they can be severed by a ship dragging its anchor. And gas pipelines are stronger. The one to Norway is more than a metre across with three and a half centimetre thick steel walls that are then encased in concrete, but it's not designed to resist an explosion. Our best protection is the large number of cables and pipes coming ashore. If one is severed, internet connections and electricity can be rerouted. The head of the UK's armed forces warned earlier this year of increased activity by Russian submarines around the UK and said any attempt to damage cables would be considered an act of war.